jumper is way too big for me. Why did I buy this? If anyone has any remedies of how to get rid of a sore throat quickly, please let me know because I feel like I'm starting to get ill again. You know when you just feel in the back of your throat that you feel like you're about to get a sore throat? I don't have time for that right now, so if you have any remedies, let me know. I've been drinking a crap ton of water. Like, I've drunk all of this in maybe the space of two hours. I don't normally drink throughout the day, so I'm really trying. Also, shout out to Chloe who gave me this water bottle at somewhere in the city. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would do an updated everyday makeup routine. I'm also gonna be including a little bit of skincare in here as well. Um, well, I mean by skincare, I mean my SPF that I use and my primer, but quite a few of you guys have requested that I do an update of one of these videos because I'm pretty sure the last one I did was around eight or nine months ago. I am not the type of person that wears eyeshadow and lashes and liner every single day. It's a pretty simple everyday makeup routine. I don't normally wear eyeshadow unless I'm going to an event in the evening or something. Um, occasionally I might go a little bit wild and do a winged liner, but this is pretty much what I wear on an everyday basis. Actually, a lot of the time it's even less than this. If I'm in a rush, I would just skip out foundation and I'll just go straight in with concealer. Um, but this is pretty much what I do on most days when I wanna look presentable. Why do I always film on hair washing day? What I should really do is wash my hair and then film. Okay, so the first thing that I always do, um, loads of you guys have noticed this and I'm always getting questions about what lip balm I use. Um, my favourite at the moment is the Lano Lips 101 ointment in Multi Balm Strawberry. I haven't actually tried the original but this stuff is so good. So I always use this before I start doing anything to my face because then it gives it some time to soak into my lips. Um, then for my skin I have just cleansed this with the Body Shop Tea Tree um, cleanser and then I use their toner as well. Actually quite a lot of my skincare stuff is from the Body Shop um, but they just, I find that their stuff works on my skin. This video is not sponsored. And then I go in with the Body Shop Skin Defense in SPF 50. This is very nearly empty. Like, I don't know if you can see how light this is because there's barely anything in it. Um, but I really like this as an SPF. I also like the number seven SPF, which has got the yellow lid. It's like white packaging with the yellow lid. But I always just make sure that I wear SPF um, because I don't want to get any more wrinkly than I already am. <laughs> And yes, even in the winter, I wear SPF. Like, it's like my religion. I don't, I don't ever not wear SPF unless I'm just going out in the evening. And I bring this down my neck as well. If I'm in a rush, I can do this in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, then speaking on primers, I actually switch these up so often because I have quite a few. Um, on this sort of regular daily basis, I will use one of these three. Um, I have the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer, which I really like. That one's on the floor. I've also been using recently the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer um, because for some reason I've been getting these tiny little breakouts on my forehead. To be honest, most of them have gone now, but you can see like a tiny bit of scarring, but my forehead is pretty smooth, but I don't know why. I never normally break out on my forehead unless it's like hormonal, but for some reason, I've been breaking out recently a little bit. So I've been using this. Um, another one that I like on the daily is the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. The reason I like these ones is because they're all not quite as heavy. Um, whereas if I want my makeup to last all day and I know that I've got a really long day and I want my makeup to like stick to my face, I will use either of these. This is the Benefit Professional or the Revolution Pro Pore Primer. The reason I don't use these every single day is because I do find that when I use these super mattifying pore filling primers every day then I do start to get a bit of texture on my skin and they do break me out a little bit. No matter how much I cleanse my skin afterwards I just kind of notice that pattern that if I use these all the time um, like every single day then it does start to like break me out a little bit but I do really like these and I use these if I've got like a long day or an event or something. The next one is definitely the most moisturizing but I think I'm just going to use this today because I don't know I like it. It's very stringy though can you see this? This next one is probably like the least, um, what am I trying to say here? The next one is probably the least long lasting. Does that make sense? Um, this one is probably better if you have, well, any sort of skin type because I have oily skin and I still use it, but if I want my makeup to last a bit longer, then I use one of the others. And the sponge I've been really liking at the moment is the Ofra one. I think I've mentioned this in videos recently. Oh yeah, I think I put it in my favorites video, but my favorite makeup sponges are this one. I really like the LA Girl ones that come in a double pack on Beauty Bay. I like the Real Techniques sponge. What else do I like? I think there was one by BH, BH Cosmetics that I used to really like. 
Um, I like the Sport FX one. There's quite a few different sponges I like, but at the moment I'm just using this Ofra one. And then for my foundation, no surprises here, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I have the shade 03 True Ivory. Um, this is full coverage, so it's quite heavy for every day. I know that not everyone likes to wear this much makeup every day, but I'm just that bitch, so. <laughs> so I just put one pump of this on my face, but then I do have quite a small head. And then I'm just blending this in. This foundation is just like my ride or die. I always come back to it, even when I try other stuff. I'm just like, no, I can't get rid of this Maybelline one. I've been through like three bottles of this stuff, which is quite a lot. And the best part is I think it's like 10 pounds. I know that not everyone likes this foundation, but for me, it just works so nicely. Okay, then for concealer, I'm not gonna lie, the my ride or die concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape. I absolutely love this stuff. I've never tried a concealer that I like better than this. Um, but I do switch it up between this one and the Revolution one because I don't want to run out of my Tarte one. So on some days I will use the Revolution Conceal and Define one. This is the super size version. It's pretty much like a dupe for the Tarte one, but I do find that the Tarte one is a little bit more full coverage. Um, but the Revolution one still does a pretty good job. This one is seven pounds. This one's like 19 pounds. Um, and it's kind of tricky to get hold of in the UK because you have to ship it from America um, and all of that, but I mean, it's a great concealer and I have the shade Fair in the Tarte one and then in the Revolution one I use C1. You know what? Let's do like a little comparison. I'm going to use Revolution on this side and I'm going to use Tarte on the other side and we'll see who wins. Okay, so the Tarte one I think is a tiny bit lighter. Right, I'm going to use one side of the Beauty Blender for the Revolution one. Okay, and then I'm flipping over my Beauty Blender to this side. And then I'm gonna do the tart one. Okay, so as you can see, they give it a very, very similar result. I just think the tart one has the slight edge in terms of coverage. I'm gonna put a tiny dot, a bit more of that here. And then I go around my nose, I go down my nose, and then I'll go on any blemishes, and then I normally put a bit on my chin as well. The thing about this concealer though, is I've had this once for like a year, and I've still not run out of it. That's probably not very hygienic, is it? But um. It lasts a long time. I was convinced that I could hear someone snoring and it was really freaking me out. I was like, is there somebody asleep in my wardrobe? Then I realized that it is my cat behind me on my bed and I hadn't even noticed that he was there. So kind of relieved that there's not like a serial killer in my wardrobe. Does anyone else's mind just go there when you like hear a noise? As soon as I hear a noise, I'm like, that's it. I'm dying today, like <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I wish you guys could see my dreams because they are not a fun place to be. For powder, again, I have quite a few that I use and kind of like switch it up between. Um, I, I was really liking the, the Primark one until I lost it. I think I might have left it at Emily's house. Uh, either that or it's probably buried somewhere in my room. Um, but recently I've been using this one, which is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. Um, I also really like the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Primer. Primer? powder. I keep this one in my handbag. I also keep this one in my handbag. I definitely keep too much in my handbag. <laughs> this one is a life saver. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I use the shade NC10. I know that this is expensive, but it has coverage and I haven't found anything that has matched this. Um, and also it's got a very, very handy compartment for keeping your leftover eyelashes when you're ripping them off on the train on the way home. If I have a spot that I can't cover with concealer, you know, just sometimes you get those stubborn ones that you can't cover. I just put a bit of this on it and it just, it covers anything. And then also for loose powder at the moment, oh God, the phone's ringing. Also for loose powder, I've been liking this one, which is by a brand called Nabla. Another drugstore powder that I like that's a loose one is the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. I really just switch it up between any of these really. Let's go for the Soap and Glory one today. I haven't used this in a while. By the way, for my powder brush, um, I use this one a lot, which is the Iconic London one. It comes in their face set, I think. Um, the Iconic London brushes are really nice. Uh, they do a really nice, huge powder brush, which I really like, but it's also quite relatively dense, so it really packs on the powder. Then the contour brush that I use, this is the one that I use in every single video, pretty much, is the NYX uh, 06. I believe this is called the Pro Fan Brush. I got this tip from Nikki Tutorials. She uses a fan brush to do her contour, but this is the densest fan brush, or the most dense, I don't know how, how you say that. But it is the best brush for contour, because as you can see, it's super slim and it just fits in the cheekbone so nicely. I think this brush is about 12 or 14 pounds. Then, I'm not gonna lie to you, for my contour, I've been using the Kevin O'Quan one quite a lot, but this is completely unnecessary. I think I got this when I had a voucher on Beauty Bay, but 
this I have in the shade light it is a really good little contour powder and it's really travel friendly because the packaging is so tiny so I do end up using this a lot because I take it around with me a lot um, but it's very expensive so a dupe that I found for this is by bleach London and it's this one right here it's the continuity powder in bones 4 um, as you can see they're not quite the same the Bleach London one is a tiny bit darker, but they pretty much do the same sort of thing. I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan one today because it's what I've been using recently. I have had this for ages though, and it still hasn't even run out because you need the tiniest bit, but it's just such a good shade if you've got pale skin. I would never have bought this if I didn't have money off because it's just so ridiculously expensive. But now that I have tried it, it is really nice and you do need the smallest amount, so... There we go. Then for my bronzer brushes, I kind of used both of these, which are both from the Iconic London face set. I've got two different sets by them. These really need a wash. They're kind of gross looking, aren't they? But I do need some recommendations for other bronzer brushes though, because I don't know. I feel like maybe I should use one that's a bit less dense. I did try using this NYX one, but I think it's a bit too big for my face. For bronzer at the moment, I've absolutely been loving this one by MAC, which I mentioned in my favourites. It's the Extra Dimension Bronzing Powder in Golden Rinse. Um, it looks like this on the inside. It looks dark and scary, but it actually comes out so sheer. Um, and what I like about this is it's got a tiny bit of sheen to it. Like, look, you can barely even see it on my hand. It comes out, like, so light. And I also love the bronzer by MAC, which is in this palette, which is their Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Fair. And then in terms of drugstore, I've also been using this one quite a bit recently, which is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Blonde. I know that it's kind of annoying that a few of the things that I've been using on my face are high-end, but just giving you guys my honest recommendations, like this bronzer is so nice. And the drugstore ones that I've mentioned as well are still also really nice. So hopefully that can kind of offer you guys some alternatives. I mostly just go for a very light dusting of blush. I really love the Milani Luminoso blush, which is such like a popular one, but it's really nice. I pretty much just pick up a blush out of my drawer and don't really think about it too much. And for blush, I know it's kind of bad, but I use the same brush as my bronzer because I feel like it kind of blends it together a bit more. It's just a really nice, subtle, pinky peach colour. Then for highlighter, the best brush in the world, oops, this one's a bit squished, I have quite a few of these, is the Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush 134. I've tried so many highlighter brushes, always come back to this one, it's the perfect shape for my face, I love this. And then for my nose, I just kind of use this, um, I mean, this one is by My Kit Co and it's the 0.3 fluffy concealer brush. Uh, I just use this for my nose because I like to use a smaller brush, but to be honest, you could use any eyeshadow brush to do your nose. I've still been loving my own highlighter palette with Revolution, which I mean is kind of a relief because it would suck if I didn't like it, but this is genuinely what I use most days of my life. Um, what I've really been liking doing recently is mixing this one and this one, um, because this one's a bit too dark, this one's a bit too purple, but if you mix them, it kind of gives this silvery sort of glow. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, like, can you guys see? It doesn't come out purple, but it doesn't come out gold. It's just a really nice in-between. But as you can see, this one is clearly my favorite shade. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use that shade down my nose. And then I always do my highlighter before my brows so that I can just be super messy with it and it just kind of get it all over my brow bone without worrying about messing up my eyebrows. And then I always, always do a bit in the inner corners of my eye. It's because I feel like it really brightens up your eyes. Then for my eyebrows, I don't know what I did before I discovered, discovered? <laughs> discovered the Benefit eyebrow brush. It's worth the money. I can promise you that. It is the best eyebrow brush I've ever tried. It's just a hard eyebrow brush and it's so skinny and it doesn't lose its shape. So you can just really, really get a super defined brow with this and it does have a spoolie on the other side. And then I just always keep going back to this Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in three. I only really use this shade. Sometimes I add a bit of this one, but I just find it's a good colour for me. I do switch up my brow products quite a lot on the daily, but um, weirdly, when I've tried this brow product with another brush, it doesn't work as well. It doesn't pick up as much product, but I find that the combination of this brush with this brow powder just works so nicely. And again, I've had this for months, and it has made a dent in it. I don't know if you can see there, but I've still got so much product left. But some of my other favourite brow products are... Um, I really like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I really like the Obsession Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. 
I just kind of use whatever I'm feeling like on that day, but if I want something that I just know is gonna work, then I always go for this one. I think this is an underrated product. I barely hear anyone talk about it, but it's the 3D Brow Tones. I have the shade, I think this is two. Subtle Brow Enhancing Highlights. And when you take it out of the tube, it is actually metallic. It's like a metallic light brown brow gel, but when you put it in your brows, it doesn't come out metallic. It just makes your brows look a lot more fluffy. I don't really know how to explain it. It just kind of highlights each individual brow hair. For my mascara too that I've been loving recently are the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara, which I really don't like the packaging for, it's too big. Um, and then the other one that I've really been liking is the Mascara Revolution by Revolution. However, I think the bendy handle thing before I was complaining that I thought it was a bit unnecessary, but somebody commented and made a very valid point that if you do have um, arthritis or if you have issues with your hands, then this could actually be pretty helpful, so. Sorry about my comment. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Revolution one today. I will say this is a very thick mascara. She thick. Um, it gives a lot of volume, as you're about to see. I mean, my natural eyelashes are pretty good anyway, but it can be a little bit clumpy, but to be honest, the volume on this is just insane. I mean, I don't really mind a clumpy mascara because I just pinch them out. And to get the clumps out, I kind of like go back over it downwards like this very briefly. Like, and I mean, I can't promise it will do this to your lashes because like I said, my natural lashes are pretty good, but um, I really like it. I think it's about eight pounds. I know that some people don't like to wear as much mascara as I do, but I just, I really like having the emphasis on my eyes. And I know that some people think my lashes are a bit too spidery, but this is just personally how I like to wear them. I think they look pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, my jumper's from H&M, I forgot to mention. If I'm using a creamy lipstick, I will often go for the shade Cake or Syrup from my Lipsticks with Revolution. Um, this is what syrup looks like, but if I want something that's gonna last all day because these are like creamy, they will come off if you eat and drink stuff. Like, just being real with you guys, they will. They're a cream lipstick, um, but then, you know, they're very easy to just layer up and add more when you need to, um, they're only four pounds. But if I want a liquid lipstick that I know is gonna last me the entire day and is super comfortable, my new favorite is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin. In my previous uh, everyday makeup routine, I think my favorite was Celebrity Skin, but I've recently discovered Mannequin, which, was a, which is a bit lighter. And I just am obsessed with this liquid lipstick. I've mentioned this quite a few times before in my videos, but um, Jeffree's formula of his liquid lipsticks are my favourite liquid lipsticks of all time. Um, they're super comfortable on your lips, they last a really nice amount of time, and they don't feel drying. I hate liquid lipsticks that feel like chalk on your lips. Okay, so this is my everyday makeup routine. Let me get a bit closer to show you guys. So this is what my makeup looks like the majority of the time when I'm leaving my house, if I have decided to make an effort that day, which is... Not all the time, but sometimes it happens. Just so you can get a little close up of the brows and you can kind of see what I mean, how it just, that brow gel really emphasizes all of your brow hairs. So this is, this is me. I am now just gonna find a quick question of the day. Tons of people are asking me if I can review James Charles's eyeshadow palette. I for sure will be reviewing it as soon as I can buy it. I don't think it's out yet, but when it is out, I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight on that website and I will review it for you guys. Somebody also said, wait, does she wear makeup every day? No, where did it, did I give that impression in my previous video? I don't think I did. I don't wear makeup every day. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Question of the day comes from Robin XX and she said, Important question here, favorite cereal? I have probably mentioned this on my vlog channel, maybe in a few Q and A's. I have Cocoa Pops every single day for breakfast and I have done since I was like, I don't know, since I could eat solid foods probably. <laughs> If you guys would like a shout out in my next video, leave me a question down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer it. Um, but I think that is it. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for how to get over a sore throat really quickly and not let it develop, please let me know. So I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. I will try and link all of the products down below in the description box. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, I would love it so much if you subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.